this is it this is the finale welcome everybody to my last episode more than likely on my newest slot that will probably tie in and close off the entirety of this new slot series from level 1 to level 50 and oh man it feels good but also kind of sad at the same time so as you guys know i went to the pit and i grinded all my levels from level 1 to level 50 and now i have gladiator armor i have a scrap sword i have an azariah edge i have scarab tongue boots and i also have this forgotten helmet now you might be wondering did he actually go and get those drops himself i did not get all of them by myself but i also didn't get them for free or it legitimately either what i did is i did a bunch of trades so i'm gonna go ahead and throw those on screen while i talk about some other stuff but there are a few things i did end up getting by myself so with the clips playing now about how i got my items whether it be through trading whether it be through drops i'm going to quickly tell you guys about what i plan on using in the future and a little bit of a disclaimer about some things real fast so i didn't get two scrap swords but i might use two scrap swords in the future and i also didn't get enough curse scrolls to actually curse anything on this slot so what we're gonna see in this video is i got the gear but a lot of the gear i have equipped now has some sort of scrolls on it even though i didn't get the scrolls legitimately on this slot and that's because i wanted to do one last thing for fun and also just basically tie it all in together like i said this is like the final episode on this new slot and i didn't plan on getting anything to gold tier so what you guys are going to see is me using a gold tier even though i didn't get it legitimately by myself i got it from a guild mate of mine anyways hopefully that all makes sense but this is what my gear looks like right now i have a forgotten helmet and i think that's a great headgear scroll back when that was the best headgear scroll and then i have this azariah edge which is gold tier this was the item that was given to me by my guild mate and then this is my fierce scrap sword that I was trying to curse and as you guys can tell it went very badly it went horribly in fact this is all curse scrolls by the way it, it <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> but ultimately, I did trade for at least one Azariah Edge. I traded for the Scarab Tongue Boots, Gladiator Armor, and the Forgotten Helmet. I did get one Scrap Sword by myself legitimately. And then all these other items that you see in my inventory, they were either on my other slots that I just had, they are given to me by guildmates, or I got them as a drop themselves. And then, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what's on me. I did end up buying all the things that you guys see in my consumables, though, except for the bananas. I had a farm for them. And I did get all those giant tokens legitimately as well. To think that I went from trying to sell one giant token to where I am now. But the plan is, is I want to take this slot and I want to unlock the Whispering Dunes all completely solo because that's the one thing I don't have unlocked yet. So let's go ahead and do the gauntlet solo and see how that works, man. You know what? I can't in good conscience let you go alone. At least bring your friend. Yeah. Are you serious? Hold on. Let me see if I can just invite one of these guys to a party and force them with me. All right. You're coming with me. <laughs> This is gonna be awkward for him. I wonder why the game wouldn't let me do a solo run. That's that's kind of interesting. It's not like soloing this is gonna be too insanely difficult either. All right, Warcry, Strength Potion. And now it's time to watch everything just disappear. Hold on, let me just rally up all these guys real fast. You already know how it is. Goodbye. Ooh, the Berserker damage is disgusting, dude. Why is it so good? I'll show you guys all my stats here in a moment as well. Just let me finish up this gut a little, a little bit more. So this is my stats right now. I have 165 strength. I have 33 dex and negative one intelligence. If this was ideal, I would have 30 dex and then the rest into strength. Okay, hold on. If I use a banana, does this make my life easier? Okay, because I need to figure out a way to get up here. Aya! Oh, did that work? I killed them all, right? Okay, I did. I'll be honest, I'm glad that I'm going to be cutting out all the struggling I'm having just to get up here and try to kill these bow users, man. Come here! Finally! I had long dive too far! Okay, how do I get back up, though? Do I have to go all the way back here? Alright, note to self. Head a long dive, as useful and as awesome as it is. It can cause issues by the looks of it. I was actually kind of scared about doing this because I thought that doing this was going to be difficult, but it turns out that this is actually not that bad. However, I haven't dealt with the bosses yet, so that's kind of the thing that I was concerned about the most all right was that all of them oh no there's ones up there i forget oh wait are we supposed to fight the gate now i forgot about that hold on let me let me help with that how'd i forget about this oh the damage that the berserker does to this too is nasty okay this is where the big boy spawns in yep i knew it Aya! eat this okay that was the one that i was concerned the most about but i'm glad that it was actually it went pretty well for me the noise that it makes i don't know what to call that noise but like the noise it makes me feel good it makes me feel like i'm just doing the right thing and just like that we are free yeah fireworks let's go i feel like this was super appropriate though because of fireworks celebration unlocking the whispering dunes and not only that but we finally maxed out this slot also to let you guys know these are my current skills i even had to take a skill reset tome for this because of the warrior revamp and update but these are my adventure skills these are my warrior skills and last but not least these are my berserker skills as well war crime ferocious assault being maxed out is just a must-have and who doesn't like headlong dive i mean seriously who doesn't who doesn't want to do this 
with this music and with the fireworks it just literally just feels like i'm going to disneyland let's go dude the gauntlet hunter occupied i'm pretty sure this is gonna be my new main slot now by the way the reason why i wanted to do this series and the reason why i wanted to have a berserker was for the sake of me being able to have something else for endgame and let me tell you man berserker has changed you know with that update and uh yeah, I'm, I'm, I think this is going to be my new main slot for a while because I like to do single target DPS stuff and the Berserker is so good for that. So, so good. And now what I'll have to do from this point forward is use a lot of cursed scrolls to get myself two gold tier scrap swords because one thing that I realized, the Azariah Edge is amazing and I love it. However, this gold tier Azariah Edge is more likely going to end up getting replaced by a gold tier scrap sword because two scrap swords is better than an Azariah Edge and a scrap sword now because whenever I fight something, Thing. I go ferocious assault then spin slash There's ferocious assault then spin slash I don't use my basic attacks all that much which is another reason why you'll see in warrior skills I have three out of five and the reason why I do have three points out of five in triple slash is for the off chance that I do end up using all three of my attacks or just using my basic attacks in general all right let's just go ahead and claim that and that easy and now at that point I can just get a ton of silver from fighting the bandit skirmisher and bandit so that's gonna be awesome into the whispering dunes I go for the first time on this slot though let me know how your guys grind goes for you guys i don't care if you're a max level i don't care if you're a low level i just want to know how your guys grind is going for you because honestly this grind was so much fun for me i had a blast doing it and i feel so good about it and i can't even begin to tell you guys how painful and how mentally draining it is to farm the pit the pit is just rough man it does not make you feel good to farm i don't know that might just be me but it doesn't it doesn't feel the best it just really doesn't the end game areas to grind now at this point once you get to max level like i am you pretty must just end up grinding the pit and whispering dunes because you just want to fight whatever's in those areas so that way you can get yourself even better loot for selling trading all that stuff and then eventually you're able to get yourself more curse skulls so that way you can put those skulls on a whole bunch of other items to get yourself the ideal items for yourself can i do this jump please i want to do this jump this is the one downside about being a warrior come on all right you know what? i'll do a headlong dive i got this ah! let's go what the headlong dive shouldn't do it twice that was interesting and i did all that for nothing there's no scarab up here for me to fight also another random thing that i want to mention to you guys i highly recommend you guys get is get your guys's hand on a forgotten crown and try to get it to around 30 intelligence now this mainly applies to those of you who are not mages because if you're going mage you're going to get at least 30 int anyways but the reason why you want a forgotten crown and the reason why you want to get it up is because you get a perk known as charismatic whenever you equip it and it basically gives you a discount at shops including the stranger all right the boss is going to spawn any second now it's time for me to buff myself real quick and also give myself a strength potion and i think we're about ready to go any second now come on azariah show me what you got i also just want to see what type of loot i get oh let's go oh this is uh, this is lagariah right here let me tell you oh boy <laughs> what just happened I, I don't even know what i just witnessed someone just got a keen azariah nice what server am i in what it's lagging so hard. I got a lot of loot, but like, why? I don't even know really what I got. I think I got two ancient armor strengths and I got a few uh, beetles. And that's pretty much all I was really able to see right there. And I also got a very mediocre boss bounty claim thing. I'll be honest, as much as I like doing the boss fights, as much as everyone likes to do the boss fights in this game, the bounty book does not give you that many good rewards, if any good rewards at all, for doing those bounties. Scarab at Anvil? Me want. Oh, hold on, let me just... uh. War cry myself and then we just start swinging the damage that i do is nasty dude this is why i wanted a berserker this is what i wanted i'm happy now i can be satisfied the damage i do is insane dude scarab can you just stop flying around please i would highly appreciate it if you were to stop doing that it's not very cool of you ow i'm having way too much fun on berserker now dude it's it's insane and an ferocious assault one more time oh, wait, i actually need a uh man elixir that up and good riddance anything good from that though it doesn't really seem like it i yeah that was not that was not it that was not great i mean i do got crystal beetles now though so it's it's all right wow killing one scarab gives me one silver and then killing three of them gives me 3.2 silver welcome to the way that the scaling of the bounty book bosses work look at azurai look at look at possum two out of three and I will only get 3.5 silver. Like, what is that, dude? Anyways, though, that's gonna have to be it for this video. I'm sorry that I didn't upload the past couple of days, but I was pretty much just 
focusing on delivering the best content that I can to you guys. And if you guys appreciate that, you guys can let me know by leaving a like, commenting, because it helps me out so very much if you guys do those two things, as well as, of course, subscribing with notifications on. And I can't wait for the next series or the next journey that I have with you guys here on Visteria and on my channel to begin with. And in all honesty, I've been having this one idea of doing a rather hardcore series on this, and I might regret doing it, but if you guys want it, just get this video lots of love, likes and comments, and then I'll consider it. I'll consider doing a hardcore series. I'm not excited. Excited, but at the same time, I'm kind of down for it. Anyways, without further ado, I can't wait to see all of you guys in the next one. Bye bye.